I have the honor of making this year's stewardship appeal on behalf of our CYF ministry. I say honor because it is indeed a privilege to speak for a part of our church which adds so much to the life of this congregation and does so much to sustain and enrich the spiritual life and faith of our kids. When a child is baptized into this church, we collectively promise to nurture the faith of that child. The work of CYF is our daily, weekly, and monthly attempt to make good on that pledge. And not just for the children who were baptized here, but for all kids, whatever their age, whose families make this church their spiritual home. My wife, Kathy, particip participated in the CYF program here from middle school on, and our three children, Rachel, Jack, and Hannah, participated from preschool age on. Between the two of us, Kathy and I have volunteered for everything from babysitting in the nursery to confirmation classes. Most of our volunteer years, though, were spent with the middle school Sunday school groups. The most rewarding Sundays for us as teachers were ones where we posed seemingly basic questions to the kids and ended up discussing deeper questions of what it means to follow God and to live out our faith. And seeing the Bible lessons through their eyes, our own, our own understanding was renewed and strengthened. All of that is in the recent past, though, and what Mindy and the CYF volunteers have going now builds on the traditional excellence of our youth programs. First, there's excitement over our increased attendance. We need participation to sustain any church activity, but numbers are particularly important in keeping youth fellowship groups going. They've added a weekly mission component to CYF activities, showing kids how we live out our faith by serving others. There's a new youth fellowship collaboration with McKinley and First Presbyterian of Urbana our son Jack went to the last youth triennium and made friends from both churches that he might not otherwise have met. We've resumed go and serve trips. Last summer was to Hammond, Louisiana to help with flood recovery. You'll see some pictures of that trip in the video which follows in a minute. This time of the year, we ask you to support all of these CYF efforts with treasure, but we also ask you to remember the other T's, your time and talent. To invest in a child with time, talent, or treasure is one of the most rewarding things we can do in ministry. We want them to succeed in all areas of life, but most importantly, we want them to develop a strong faith in God. You can be part of that faith development. While our congregation is and always has been blessed with many talented educators, you don't need to be a professional in order to volunteer your time and talent. I stand before you as living proof of that through the years. The children all speak English and understand it well. In many cases, they're coming into our programs and groups with a strong knowledge of the Bible and a growing relationship with God. What is needed, whether it's Sunday school or confirmation class or go and serve, are adults of all ages and talents who are willing to walk with them and listen to them and talk to them as they continue to grow spiritually and in their love of God. Carl Sandburg famously wrote somewhere that a baby is God's opinion that life should go on. Far be it for me to edit one of Illinois' favorite sons, but I would add toddlers, grade schoolers, middle schoolers, and high schools to that thought. With that in mind, thank you for everything you've done and will do to make sure that the life and work of CYF goes on. Thank you. As a longtime member of Children, Youth, and Family Ministry, I am reminded as we work with our precious children that they are not only the church of tomorrow, but they are the church of today.